to check that. Very good. All right. Start recording there. Start recording there. Live in two minutes 30, Nick. Yep. You take care. <laughs> uh, you. are going nuts. All right, 15 seconds. Good, we got some hands up. Nick, do you have announcements you want to get into? Yeah. Give it like 10 seconds and we'll start. You can, uh, um, if you want to talk about the, the, just the general ground rules, you know, things like that real yep, quick I and I'll get into the announcements. I will. And welcome everybody to number 14. I think it's office hours number 14. Um, your marketing, art marketing, photography, marketing, sale, COVID navigation, uh, questions and answers. We've really been enjoying these sessions and getting a little bit better. Um, for those that are new that don't know the ground rules, if you've got a question, go ahead and raise your hand. Um, and when you raise your hand, we'll just kind of check down through them one by one and try to get to every single solitary one. We do want to try to get everybody a chance to get their question in. So we've kind of shortened them down a little bit. So that's what we're going to do one at a time. Nick, go ahead to your announcements. Yeah. So um, the raise hand, let's get a link to the raise hand in the, in the chat comments because there's a button that you actually push you guys to raise your hand. Um, and it's on like the right hand side, but one of our team members will put a link down there showing you where it is if you have trouble uh, seeing it. A um, couple of announcements. Uh, number one, just to remind everybody, there is a print, a exclusive print discount for Art Storefronts members. Um, if you're using automated fulfillment with Bay Photo or Graphic Dimensions, um, it applies automatically to your online orders. Uh, and then you can place your own wholesale purchases um, and it will apply to those as well if you want to get any print shipped to you. The whole reason for that is what we've been you know, pushing the last uh, uh, week or so and what the workshop was on last Friday, which everybody should be running a sale right now. And, uh, and so we're, you know, when we tell you guys to discount, we always discount. And so that's what we're, we're always trying to do. So the discounts, um, those print discounts are extended through uh, the end of the month through all of April. 
right? So um, we definitely want you guys to take advantage of that, run your own discount, pass it forward to your consumers. Um, that has been really, really working right now um, as we've been talking about. A couple of other things. Um, we are uh, going to be releasing the coasters, the coaster products. I'm just gonna try to give you guys a decent look at these. They're like high resolution, like art coasters, thickness. So these media types will become available. Um, and uh, they're coming packs of four. So you can see like four pack right here. And uh, Bay Photo will have them and Graphic Dimensions will have them. That's probably, they're probably gonna get released sometime next week. So keep an eye out for that. Those are kind of cool. Um, and then another um, announcement, I'm giving you guys a little pre-announcement on this that with graphic dimensions, if you're using graphic dimensions, um, this is really cool. You are going to be able to upload your, a, a logo into the back end at a special size. Um, because it needs to be a very specific size. So you might need to manipulate the one you have on your website, but they are going to be applying that label. If you have uploaded it, uh, or, or your logo, they'll print a label and it will be on the exterior of your boxes. So you'll actually have your own branding on your boxes when they go to your customers through the automated fulfillment, which is awesome. Um, and, uh, what about, what about Canada with print partner Judith's answering asking? None of that applies to, to, to print partner, but um, print, we, we've had some discussions with print partner uh, recently and um, very exciting though. They, they want to move all over to the fulfillment 2.0. Um, they're on fulfillment 1.0. And, uh, and so um, it's probably not going to be for a while though. Like, let's call it like, you know, six months or so to do that. Um, but they are going to be moving on to fulfillment 2.0, which means eventually all of those, um, these features that we're talking about will apply to them. And I know that we're reaching out to them as well to see about the coasters. We're not sure if they provide that product, um, but uh, graphic dimensions and Bay Photo definitely do. Yeah, so back to the, uh, the labels on your boxes, that is going to be for graphic dimensions only right now. Um, Bay Photo, is in the process of moving to fulfillment 2.0. They were actually right there, right before the pandemic struck and they're in Northern California. So they were in shelter in place faster than pretty much everybody. Um, but uh, we expect that they will um, do the same, you know, in a couple of months, uh, you know, more than likely. So, but that's a really cool, that's a really cool feature with graphic dimensions. There's no extra cost to you, no extra cost for that label ability. So, um, so we got that done, which is really exciting. I want you guys to all have, you know, the best fulfillment possible for a photographer or artist, the most professional, right? And having your own custom branding is very difficult to do. Um, it's easy if you're doing it yourself, but for a printing company to dynamically do that for 3000 art storefronts members when they get, get orders is, is a tall ask to say the least. But uh, we're doing it. We got it done. And so I'm, I'm, ex I'm really excited about that. I'm excited about all the different things that we can do to, to continue to improve the fulfillment experience. Um, so those are the announcements. And uh, unless you have anything else, Pat, we can start moving forward. I do. That there is a question about how long till greeting cards. And then, you know, Philip saying, hey, you know, uh, Bay is really lagging behind graphic. They're not far behind graphic right now, right? You've almost got that pretty much ironed out. Yeah, they are lagging behind graphic. I mean, I'm going to hand it to graphic. Like we're Swiss neutral. I love Bay, you know, but they are behind graphic. They're, they're not moving as fast as I want them to. Uh, and, um, you know, but next year, Bay will probably be ahead of graphic and graphic will be behind. There's kind of, you know, it, th th there's when we, when we ask for stuff, when I start pushing the owners of these companies to get branding on the boxes, sometimes I get a little bit of pushback. You know, I mean, we, we are here to fight for you guys, right? And that's my job is I, I've got to push these things and we're going to get stuff that uh, you can't get anywhere else. And you're, you know, and so when those conversations happen, sometimes some of the companies jump on it very fast because they see the opportunity and, uh, and then other ones like, you know, maybe lag a little bit longer and it's just kind of the way it goes. So it's going to, you know, if it's one thing, it's not the other, right? So, um, 
So Fox graphic is a little bit ahead and I will, I want to give them credit for that. They deserve to get the credit for it because um, the more that, you know, the art storefronts membership speaks in terms of where the printing volume is going, the other pr fulfillment partners listen up very quickly. So Kim Zavi is asking, will coasters be of one work or four different works? As one as work, as one as work, as one work yeah. per coaster. Yeah. Well, you could potentially slice it up and give them that file. Couldn't you? Well, you could, you could add a standard product yourself, hmm. you know, just not with automated fulfillment and create your own four pack and, and sell those themselves. You'd have to ship them yourself. So you could totally do it, but for the automation, for the automated fulfillment, it's just, it's, a, it's really fast right now for, um, for us to add a media type in there for the four pack for every image that's in your art print store automatically. Right. So, um, so that's how it's going to be for right now. Got it. My one announcement would say I released a podcast this week on Instagram live on how to do Instagram live on the pitfalls of it. You probably got, got it emailed to you. Um, but really proud of the way it came out. I think it's got some great content in there and some things that are probably not immediately evident or obvious. If you've not put your Instagram handle in the chat in Zoom, please do because we want to follow all of you. Uh, those that have will notice that I literally, you know, when you like go into the Apple store and like all the devices in there are just perpetually on. I have a cell phone mounted to the side of my computer, just perpetually on. And I find you guys on Instagram doing the Instagram lives. You'll see me pop in. I'm popping into like everybody's and doing thumbs up and giving you, giving you high fives and stuff because I want everyone to explore doing them. The podcast walks through in detail and there's a whole bunch of stuff I didn't cover on the podcast that I'm going to cover in one of these specific workshops that'll just be on Instagram live. It will probably kick to next week. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna run one just for you guys on how to contact these Instagram curator accounts, how to contact the Facebook accounts, what it looks like, what the entire tactical looks like, because I know we're getting a ton of questions on those. So I will get into that tomorrow. Um, it will be recorded. Uh, we're not gonna broadcast it to anyone else. This thing's exclusive to you guys. Uh, we don't give everything away at all. So that's going to be in the group if you missed it. Or I think uh, Emily or Taylor, the team, will, will email it to you. But I'm, I'm going to walk through everything, all of your questions from start to finish, every single solitary bit of it. So that will be on Friday. But uh, other than that, Nick, if you've got anything yeah, else. Yeah, I, I do want to answer a couple other questions related to fulfillment. Um, people are asking about calendars and greeting cards. We are, <clears throat> excuse me, we are currently working on those and we are, um, very determined to have those ready before the fourth quarter. There's quite a bit of development that has to go into those um, for the automated part of it. And, uh, but the greeting cards is the number one priority in terms of uh, uh, new fulfillment products. That's highly, highly, highly recommended. So we will have that before Q4 for sure, because we know that that's where the, the volume of those will be. And we are going to definitely try to get calendars um, going with automated fulfillment uh, before that. In fact, we're a lot of the development that we're doing over the next like six months to a year, aside from a lot of other development that we're doing, but, but one piece of it is, um, is adding more fulfillment products. Okay. So um, merchandise types of products, like we're looking at adding t-shirt capability, mugs, um, you know, uh, all sorts of products that are like that. And, uh, you know, some people, th there's been a lot of people that have requested them, but there's also, I, I would say probably 40% of the art storefronts customer base has probably requested those types of products. 60% have not. Um, if, you, if you're kind of going for a really high-end brand, they probably don't make sense, but uh, we want to increase the capabilities anyway and give everybody, you know, ways to sell other types of items that aren't 100% reliant on having an open wall space on your wall. You know, one of the ones that I really love um, that I, I am going to try to get done. Nobody's really ever done this. So it'll be a fun project for me, but is uh, art books. Like think about like coffee table books, like high end coffee table books, medium, medium end that you can sell for like, you know, maybe a, a medium end one might be like a hundred or $150 price point. And then a high end one might be like a $250 or $300 price point, but just gorgeous coffee table books with, where you could have like 30 or 40 of your images with like a story, like your, your romance, like description, your short description in them. And those are great items specifically because anybody can buy them at any time 
and they don't need to have available wall space. It's more of an impulse item. And I absolutely love it because if, if, uh, if you're able to sell 150 or $300, right. And you can price it however you want to, but, but that you can make some good profit margin on those. Yep. And people are fired up about the books. I'm fired up about the books. I mean, my wife, my wife buys these things like it's going out of style. So. Rick, Rick Waddell just asked removable wallpaper, removable wallpaper is coming as well. Um, that's actually going to be launched with graphic probably within two to three weeks. Um, and, and, and that's an easy one for Bay photo to add. So there's not going to be any problem with them on that, on that product. Some, some, some stuff requires development and fulfillment 2.0 for Bay photo. And that's what holds back some, some of these things like dynamically providing, you know, logos for, for box labels. It's very challenging and you need to have fulfillment 2.0 for that, uh, or they do, I'm sorry. But, um, but uh, stuff like adding another media type, like uh, repositionable vinyl, that's what it's called technically from, a, from a, the media guy here. Um, uh, that, that type of stuff is easy. Wonderful. And before I forget, Taylor, will you put the link to the podcast in the show notes and everybody knows how to get those inside the Zoom. If you're, if you're watching on Facebook, all you have to do is leave a comment and the bot will, will grab it and we'll send it off to you. But on that note, Nick, you ready to get into the questions? Yes. Okay, Mark, we're going to go ahead and go with you first. Go ahead, Mark. Mark Grasso. So thank you very much. And very excited about the, the products coming down the road. Um, I finished my tech audit yesterday. So I think I'm ready. I posted on um, small wins. So I don't know if you guys wanted to look at my site before I launched this evening or what. So they audited, so they audited it yesterday at the workshop? Um, I, yeah, I went through the workshop, Taylor and company looked at it there. Then I finished my tech audit. Um, well, that, that, that audit should be, should cover it. We're trying okay. to have, yeah, we're trying to have, uh, we're trying to extract the, the site audits from these workshops with Patrick and I. That, that's so if, they, if they got you taken care of, if not, if for any reason you feel not, um, the Wednesday workshop every week is the marketing launch workshop. And that's where we want everybody to go for their site audits. That, then I'm good. I don't need, if you guys don't want to see it, I'm good. Yeah, I think uh, let's, let's, let's try to keep those into those workshops if we can, Mark. Do you have any other questions though? Nope, I'm good. Thanks. Awesome, buddy. I, Thank I, you. I'm, I'm really happy with switching over from someone else to you guys and... And um, in the long run, I'm banking that it's going to pay off. We are too. Okay. We're happy to have you. Thank Stick you with good. these workshops. You keep doing yeah. the marketing work and stay consistent. And That's do right. not worry about the fact that you're launching now. Just okay. launch and get on with it. Start marketing. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Right. Good luck. Let Thanks, us know Mark. how it goes. Okay. Next up is Stan. Stan, you're up. Go ahead. Oh, unmute. That would help if I unmuted you being buggy you might have an audio issue stan because it's not letting me unmute you like you probably don't have the mic settings right on yours so i'm gonna let's see one more time did you fix it there okay see if you can get that fixed stan and i'm gonna go ahead and just drop one down and then i'll come back to you in a sec muffy you're unmuted go ahead okay thanks guys i sent an email to emily about an hour ago mm -hmm. The uh, website, the uh, uh, email that I was doing for that shelter promotion I was telling you about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got it. I I've want, got it. I've I got it pulled up here. Yeah. Um, Did you post this in small wins, Muffy? Not yet, because okay. I've been working on it all morning. And that's always a, for, for stuff this detailed, that's always a better place to post it for us. Uh -huh. where we can get some more time um to like really go into it in detail it's going to be hard for us to give you, you know, much I wanted you to take a look at because i wanted to give a shout out to meg because it was her idea that got me thinking about this whole thing it, it looks really good great. it looks awesome yeah i've got it pulled up here homes home should be a safe place to shelter in place you've got your logo on the top um you've got the work looking to leave a 16 by 20 inch frame by Matthew clark uh, for mother's day you tell a good story here yeah, I think this, yeah. this is good to go. This this looks good to send. Um, you did yeah. you did a great job on it, and you know this is this is like an emotional subject at an emotional time. I think you're going to get some good action on it. I like the contrast of the color and the the black and white inside. I I think it makes it, if not a, a, a compelling work, a compelling email. So I think you're I think you're in great shape with this. 
Well, the show uh, really liked it too. So Muff, Muffy, one thing though, you're giving a 20, you're giving a discount there at the bottom, right? Uh-huh. Should I? Well, I, if you're gonna, you know, you, you just always want to follow the, the rule that in marketing, like you've got about three seconds to get someone's attention. Mm -hmm. And so that's like, they open the email and like, whatever you really want them to know needs to be at the very top, you know? So mm -hmm. if you, if you really are promoting that, um, you might like where you say home should be a safe place to shelter in place. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, you may want to add something up there. That's like, and like maybe in parentheses, and I have a great, and I'm offering, you know, 25% off, you know, whatever, or something. If, unless, if the main call to action is to donate, cause I see you have a donate now button. Then yeah, maybe, the main thing is donate. Yeah, so then, then, then that's fine. I, then you're good to go then. You're good to go. Cause yeah. I, I see that you have the 25% off subtle. I might bold, I might bold the text 25% off your purchase. Okay. So that they just see that, right, um, and, and then I think you're good to go. Cool. And you'll be able to get data out of Mailchimp on who clicked donate, whether they did or whether they didn't. And so mm -hmm. you can you can follow up with those people individually, um, depending on what size it is. Like, uh, what what size did you say your list was? Uh, well, I've got about five hundred and forty. Okay. And, uh, and plus, you know, the shelter's going to be putting it through their list too. They're going to do it through their social media and their list. Okay. Yeah. So I would just, you know, see how the email does, uh, go into MailChimp, look at your reports. Our support team can help you with this too. And depending mm -hmm. on how many people click on donate, you can, um, send every one of them a personal email. Thank you so much for taking the time to donate. You're not going to know whether they did or they didn't, right? Because they're not doing mm -hmm. it on their site. Uh, just as an FYI, if you appreciated the piece, I'm throwing this out here, here it is. Uh, have any questions? Just let me know. Cool. And, and, and I, right. you could send all those individually. And I wouldn't even send those through MailChimp. I would, I would send them individually, but that's what I would do. Yeah. No, your hand-to-hand -hand combat idea. You better yeah. believe it. You better believe exactly. it. That's what works right now. But good okay. luck. Let us know how it goes, huh? Great. Great, great, great work great on execution. that. Yeah, great execution. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to circle back and see if... No, I think I think he dropped out. So okay, he's out. Kim, you're looks like you're up next. I want to go ahead and unmute you now. Hi. Hey, Kim. Okay. Um, one of the things that I've been working on, and you guys stressed it first thing this morning, and I think that's great, is that one of the reasons I think I succeeded as well as I did at the shows was the variety of products that I had to offer. It wasn't just art, because a lot of the times I would get people saying, Oh, if I only had wall space, if I only had wall space. Um, and then, oh, you know, their budget. So I had something for every budget. I had greeting cards. I had, you know, postcard prints, everything. Mm -hmm. Um, but it looks like you kind of addressed that, um, with, with the greeting cards that are coming in. Yep. All that um, stuff's coming. Yeah, that's, that's great. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm running the, the, the promotions right now, but I'm not getting the sales that. I'd like to see, and I'm wondering, you know, what else, what am I doing that I need to be doing differently? Likely you're well, probably not doing anything wrong because you're just exactly. getting started and you're just marketing right. it digitally. Like, you know, one of, one of the, one of the awesome things about um, these workshops for Nick and I is that like prior to running these workshops all the time and, and actually like having face-to-face -face conversations with you guys on a weekly basis, we would sit there in our minds and like determine what is the most important marketing stuff that we can teach them, not have the yeah. direct, direct contact that we needed, throw it out there and then just say, here it is. Good luck. Go for it and move on. Now that we've had them, we like really get to see these themes that are surfacing. And one of them, and I think it's, it's our job to tamp down the expectations on it is like, you know, we're bringing guests on and we're talking about these people that have had great results and huge sales. And sometimes what's lost is, they've been at it for three to five to seven years. Like they've been right. hardcore digital marketing for quite some time. And sadly, right. early on, there is no shortcut. You're not gonna just with no followers and no fans, uh, and you just got started, like you have to put in the hard work. And the perspective piece there is so important to understand. Like you have to email a bunch, you have to run a bunch of campaigns. Your first year, I mean, I, one of my favorite is we have, we had this one photographer, um, what's his name, Mark? the one that does like the Chicago stuff. I, I, I'm, I'm blanking on his last name. Oh, Hirsch. Hirsch, thank you. He 
published his first year sales and then he published his second year sales. And when he did his second year sales, he was talking about how at Q4, he pretty much completely obliterated all of his records. And the numbers weren't huge, but it showed the perspective of growth that it takes. And he started with no Facebook fans, no Instagram fans, just launched his website, just started getting going. So right. early on, you know, you can be in these sessions and you're like, hey, I'm not getting any action. Hey, I'm not, you know, I'm not, um, I'm not killing it. I don't have these sales figures that someone else does. What am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. It just, you, you have to get those reps and those sets in. You have to send those email campaigns, run those sales, go through it, build your audience, build your customer base, build your Facebook, build your Instagram. And it takes time. It takes time. And the first Another, year is the toughest year, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and Kim, if you're worried that like maybe your, your email wasn't great, like I would post it in small wins so that we can look at it. Like our team can look at it in detail and like, right. under, like see that. But what, but I totally agree with what Patrick is saying is because even if your email wasn't great, like making sure it was great might get you one more sale or something like that. We're not talking about like you, you're losing like 20 or you're missing right. 20. Well, the, the real answer is you got to increase the size of your list and you're following dramatically. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, right now I'm running, I'm running um, some Facebook ads. I'm, I, I'm doing email. Funny thing is, you know, not funny, but uh, this thing got my, my, I lost my job, you know, a lot of people did, but you know, my day job was email marketing. That's what I did. I designed emails and I, I did email marketing for, for various companies. So I'm not so, so much concerned about the quality of the email that I'm sending out. Um, I'm, I'm not as familiar with Facebook ads, but I've really gone through and I'm, I, I do have some background with them. So, and I, I do have some AB testing going on with some ads that I've got going on right now. And I'm really learning a lot. Um, I had to scale things back from international audience because shipping is just an issue. Um, so your, so your question here is your question that you're running Facebook ads and you're not sure if they're working. Yeah. Well, I, I'm getting, I'm getting attention, but it's not, you know, yeah, people are liking my Facebook page. And I, I, I think, you know, my, my Facebook audience has grown by 200%, which is, you know, people are liking my business page. They're liking that. So, you know, I have a Facebook pixel on this, so I'm going to be able to create lookalike audiences and, and build off of that for future ads. But so here's, here's the key question on that is, and uh, if, if you are running ads, this goes for any like cold marketing channel in general. Mm -hmm. Your the, the the number one thing that you need to look at is you need to look at the conversion doctor report in your stats section, okay? right? And then you need to look at the Facebook traffic specifically, and then the contact conversion rate, right? That should be a five percent or higher. Do you it's know not, if it is or not? It's not. What is it at? Um, well, depending on the ad, uh, it's like three percent or 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 worse it's it's not okay so three, per, three three percent means that you're getting close you're okay. just your targeting is probably what like too broad like okay. you know um and patrick has a like we've got we've got some resources on this he has a course on this did you see it yeah i did i started okay. going through that before, yeah um I, you know, it, and, and this is a good thing to discuss in the group too, because like John Lechner, there's a couple of guys that are doing a lot of ads um, mm -hmm. and like they have different opinions on targeting and things like that. But like right. just generally things that I will tell you from my experience with, yeah. with Facebook ads and ads in general is like start, I always try to start really tight. Like, right. like for you, like US only do not do any other country. Right. right? Um, are you, and then, and then age group, make sure the age group is, um, you know, well, my typical audience I'm, I'm seeing is, is, is female over 40, you know, so I, I don't know, should I tighten that in as well? The age group? I would, I mean, I would not show personally show an ad to anyone under 35 if I was selling art. Okay. Um, I mean, unless you had a real reason to, depending on your price points and things like that. Yeah. Um, now, and when I say that a lot of people, and, and there's also like, you could also do like, do things like college grad, like depending on how, how net worth you want to go. Right. I've said right. this before and people go, well, I've had people who buy art before who are 25 or, you know, I didn't go to, I didn't go to college and it's like, no, 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 guys, don't worry about that. 
What I'm trying to tell you is when you're spending money on marketing, when you're spending paid, paid dollars on marketing, you want to you wanna target the highest converting group that you can. Right. Because that's going to be the highest ROI. And you start there and get an ROI on that and then expand out as opposed to letting everybody in and then doing that. So right. if you can target a little tighter, I bet that that's going to go to a 5%, you know, or a six, that's, that's kind of your goal. And then it's actually, I mean, if they're opting in and you have the 20% off or 15% off lead capture, according to best practices, and you're not doing anything different yeah. there, then yeah, you're adding good people to your list. It's just going to take time. Like you have to remember that Facebook ads, it's interruption marketing. Okay. Right. Like that. And, and so when you're getting people, you're interrupting them in, in their day and they click on it. And so they come to your site and then they're immediately presented with the opportunity to buy. They're, they're not ready. They're, they're at the highest stage of the sales funnel, right? right? Somebody at the lowest stage of the sales funnel is like right at the bottom is somebody who's like, okay, I've got a, I've got a space on my wall. And my wife and I decided that we need something this week because we're having a party this weekend and we're buying something, right? Right. Um, and so, you know, when you're doing more interruption marketing, you're going to find some people like that. But most of the time, you're, gonna, you're starting the relationship with these people, right? Mm -hmm. So most of that Facebook traffic is about capturing that email address. You know what I mean? Making sure you right. get that with that lead capture because it's a buying signal because they would, right. there's no point unless... To, you know, they're like, okay, hey, I might take advantage of this discount someday. And, and then you, 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 you keep building and you romance market and then right. you run, you know, you run promotions like Mother's Day and things like we're talking about right now. Right. And then some of them will close, right? right. Now, now I'll, some of those people will not close until nine months from now, six months from now, a year and okay. a half from now. Right. It, you hate hearing that. And that's why you have to that's why you have to like balance your strategy with if you're going to do paid um, uh, uh, with, with doing non-paid as well, right? right. And, and this is a good opportunity to talk about like we're doing a major workshop tomorrow. In fact, Patrick is doing it, showing step by step and taking questions and all that stuff. And I'm going to be there too right. on the Facebook group, Instagram content curator strategy that we've been pushing really hard. Well, for everybody Definitely be there for that. Yeah, we're um, going to do that tomorrow because we know we want to go through it in great detail. We want everybody doing it. And so, um, so everybody, it's the same time tomorrow. Uh, the Friday workshops are kind of becoming the day of the week where we're, we're picking and choosing like the biggest thing that everybody needs help with that we're advocating to just do a deep dive and take your questions. So that's a really, really important workshop. And it will be recorded um, and put in the vault for anybody who can't attend. Yeah. And I would say I've got, I've got a really good course on this and I understand, you know, everybody wanting to jump into Facebook ads and cold ads too, but it's really, really tough. And I think you need to listen to this after you listen to this hidden behind this and Taylor's going to put the link in the show notes is like the full course page that walks you through step-by-step -step with all the videos of where I think you should get started with Facebook ads. I think it's a much better recipe for success than what a lot of you guys are doing, attempting to go after cold. And in that podcast, I rant about all the reasons why. So I don't think I need to rehash it here, but it'll at least listen to it as a primer and then go through some of the videos on the other page. And if you decide you still want to go after cold traffic after that, definitely not going to stand in your way, but it'll make sure that you uh, have a much better chance at succeeding uh, while doing it. But I would say, um, you know, I think it's probably better off unless you have someone and people in the chat are saying John's been helping him, you know, John's there to help you good. But it's, it, I think there are higher ROI activities, return on investment activities, the Instagram curators, the giveaways, uh, than just going after Facebook ads right from the get go. And that's, that's, that's broadly speaking, but it's true. Yeah. Okay. A lot of people are asking about where is this course? Yeah, um, Taylor all has all it in the notes. Yeah, it's all, yeah. You, you got the podcast and the course in there. So yeah, it's in the show notes. Yeah. Um, Okay, tell me you're up. Go. Okay, great. Um, I was actually about to go on to a meeting, but thank God you called. Um, two questions here. Um, how long should I offer? I had to write it down. How long should I offer uh, an upsell or an unsold cart customer um, an extension on the offer? And um, should I increase the discount from what I currently have as well as apply free shipping? That's one question. Um, the second question is, um, 
I noticed I had a particular client uh, when I went under detective this morning, the wee hours of the morning, who had been on my site four different times. The three times that she was on there, she did not sign up. She eventually signed up and I was able to figure out it was her because I looked at her um, IP number um, and I sent her an email to, cause I noticed that she was looking at a particular original piece. Um, so my question right now, I'm still waiting to receive feedback, but I just wanted to know how should I address the email to them, you know, just to bring them back. If that, if you get my question, do you understand? Yes. What I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So I think, you know, one of the, one of the takeaways from last week was there were some other people asking about like, we need, we need some, uh, some playbooks on the hand to hand combat, which you're mm -hmm. doing. Um, mm -hmm. I love it. And so with it, let's talk about the upsell. Um, so Pat, if you caught that first question, cause this is a good one to get your feedback on. It's, it's the new upsell feature that she's talking about. Um, how would you play that after the order came in and you saw that they viewed a few other products, but they only bought one and how, so like you'd make an offer. What is the offer? How long would you run it? Like how long would you give them to be able to take advantage of it? Yeah, that's a good question. I think, you know, I think this dovetails with a couple of things. One, what's the best way to sell art offline, not online. What's, what's your job when you're online, make it as close as offline as possible. In an offline world, if that person came into your gallery and looked at four different paintings or came into your gallery four different times and left, what would be the ideal situation? Hey, Temi, I saw you, saw you come in here a couple of times. Are there any questions you have? And you mm -hmm. want to get into a conversation with them, right? So I would, do you have the email address on them? You do, right? Yes, I, I finally was able to do, it was, it took about an hour. I went yeah. back, you yeah. know, a couple of months and I finally was able to figure out it was her. She just yeah. signed up a couple of days ago and I'm like, what? Yeah. So she's so been- don't you don't have to be pushy at all all you want to do is okay. open up a conversation and i would i would i would just straight up email her and say hey so and so uh saw that you checked out my site a couple of times thanks so much for coming by if you have any questions about anything love to talk to you about it you know sell text zoom whatever i'm here i'm available hope your quarantine's okay. going well temi uh, yeah i love i love meeting my fans you know or my followers i love learning okay. you know what i mean things like okay. that now, Pat, what about, what about the upsell though for somebody who actually bought? Yeah, so if someone actually bought, there's like mathematical formulas on what price point your upsell should be. And it should definitely be a lower price point than what they bought originally. So you kind of need to think through that, right? Like if they came through a 10 and bought a $10,000 original, then you can upsell them anything because everything else in your shop's not gonna be that expensive. But if they just bought like a $200 print or a $300 print, then I would, I would try to find something cool and small in my shop. That's like, if let's just say they spent 200 bucks and I, I can't remember, there's, there's been a bunch of mass done on what the ideal ratio is. Well, in, in this specific case though, Pat, you're seeing the products. Mm -hmm. Remember this new feature, you're seeing the products that they saw, but they didn't buy. So you're actually able to say, <laughs> Hey, you want to get these two, I'll give you a deal on them. Yeah. 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 Okay. So the, in the cart already. No, no, no. They placed an order. This is a new feature from like a week ago, right? Yeah, yeah, they yeah, placed an order and on the order, you're able to see there's a, there, there, there's an yeah, asterisk yeah, on yeah, it or it's yeah, in yeah. red. Yeah. You yeah. get to see what they saw, but didn't buy. So you can actually say, Hey, I'll throw it in with free shipping. You know, if yeah. you want to take these two and I'll give you a 20% off for the next three days. Like if you want, if you're able to do it in the next three days, that's what I would do. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I, I don't disagree with that in the slightest. If, if you saw that they've already looked at those other things, like just take a shot. I mean, almost anything's worth it, right? Right now. Okay. I mean, put yeah, some and, and Temi, to, like another answer to your question here is the reason we don't have a perfect answer is we are actually testing it ourselves right now. Sure, like, sure. We've literally been testing it all week, like on different uh -huh. customer accounts. Like, hey, we're going to send these emails for you. So we yeah. have, we've got some lines in the water trying some different things. And, uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll figure out what is the best strategy and we'll get that into a playbook. But generally that's what we're doing right now is we're, we're contacting them like right after the fact, yep. um, you know, like within a day and saying, Hey, thank you so much. So glad that you bought that. You're going to love it. Hey, I noticed you saw some other, you might've seen some other products that, that you liked, you know, um, those are really cool too. If, you know, I'd love to have those on your, you to have those on your wall. I'll give you an extra 25% off or something, whatever you're happy with. If you want to grab any one of those, right? Or both or, or all three. And I'm happy to throw in free shipping since you already paid for shipping, right? Or something like that. And just, we're testing all sorts of stuff like that to figure out what works. And 
I think that I, 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 I don't think I know that on a percentage basis, there's going to be like, it's probably going to be like one or two out of 10 at least are probably going to take the upsell. Uh, even more depending on how, on, on how good the deal is structured. But again, you know, it could be way more. I just don't idea, know yet. The idea would be that we would like automate the script form, right. And automate the deals. I still, I still believe that hand to hand every time there until you have too many of them to even handle, but that would, that would be how it is. Let us, let us know how it goes. Tell me that that's, that's exciting. And you know, God bless tracking technology. We don't get a lot of props for the tracking technology. No one has that kind of tracking technology to know somebody's come back to your site four times and you can contact them. Uh, that, that took a lot of dev work too on Nick's part. So we got to toot our horn on that one. And I love- I Yeah, love so, so some people ask, Carol Ann Johnson asked, where is the detective? Uh, yeah, oh, it's in the jump to menu. Yeah, for those of you who don't know what detective is, is it, it basically just shows you, it's tracking every single visitor on your site and where they're from and what they've done, what products they've viewed, what events they did. Events are like add to cart, initiate checkout, wall preview live preview there's some really cool things in there i mean like you can see that people you know somebody might have come to your site and they use the live preview with augmented reality right and it's like that person's a little bit further down the funnel than other people you know and if they gave you their email address they could they definitely would be worth an email on hand-to-hand -hand combat i'm just hey so glad you subscribed to my list i love reaching out to new followers is there anything at all i can help you with exactly like patrick said yep so you might not do it for everybody, but you should definitely do it to people who have added to cart or, or have you know, done a bunch of events on your site. That, that's where I think this playbook is gonna be awesome. Okay, Andy, you're up, go ahead. Hey, uh, just a couple of quick questions. Um, is, that, is, that, is that the Bassmaster? Is that the Bassmaster? Yeah. <laughs> Bassmaster. Dude, not, uh, not lately. It looks like, uh, it's not official, but it looks like I'm out of work until uh, the end of July. Oh, wow. Um, so, I mean, I but I've got, I've got one question that I've got a really quick comment. So let me make the comment. This COVID deal has presented me, and, and I've put it on the small wins, and so y'all may have seen it, given me an opportunity that just fell in my lap I'm a photographer. I don't consider myself like an artist, you know, like an artist. I have sold uh, 49 or 50 reclaimed wood products that just fell in my lap. I mean, and I, I, I saw a, a, an opportunity for crosses for some, mm -hmm. with some Cypress I had. Offered it on Facebook and I cannot produce anything without selling it. It's, it's amazing. And so it sort of goes to what I think Patrick was talking about earlier that people are still buying or I watched oh, yeah. something. I, I watched y'all too on oh, yeah. Instagram that people are buying. I made a sale, you know, last week of a, of a nice print. So that's good, but I'm actually going to test out the, the reclaimed wood opportunity on Etsy with a goal of at some point, if it goes well, one, create more, you know, another revenue stream. But if it goes really well, I'm probably going to get with y'all to create another um, ASF site so that I can sell it through there. And so, um, so you know, it's, to me, it's just encouraging. It's been really, it's crazy. I've been working for a week and a half almost every day on, on building stuff that sell immediately. So oh, what's just, the what's the price point on those guys? Um, you know, thirty to sixty bucks. You know, and and uh, I'm gonna go from there. You know, I'm gonna make some smaller stuff for Etsy that's gonna be in that twenty five dollar range. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, here in South Louisiana, Cypress is a big deal. And uh, you know, and so I've I've got access to like hundred year old Cypress hundred year plus Cyprus and um, you know, just, just, just making it. And, and, and I've made, I don't know, $1,800 in a week. Nice. Awesome. And, and so there's opportunities there. I'm yeah. not selling a bunch of prints yet, but you know, just, just that, I, I just want to offer that encouragement sort of back up what you guys talked about over on Instagram today. So, um, all right. So here's my question. 
you know, I'm terrible about keeping up with holidays. Um, and honestly, I forgot next month is, is Mother's Day, which obviously tells you, you know, my, my mom's mad at me every year. Um, I started what, I, I stole this from Rick Burke. I started a community support uh, sale where I, I off, I'm offering 25% through the month of April, uh, 25 off, encouraging people to use that savings to support, you know, their local businesses, you know, restaurants, stuff like that. Well, I did that without thinking about Mother's Day and probably a better route would have been, you know, doing a Mother's Day sale. Would, would y'all, I know the, the print partner sale ends the 30th. Would y'all recommend just continuing that sale and, and into to May? Yes, the short, the long and the short of it right now. And, and this has been sort of, a profundity that we've arrived at both in our own business and just life in general. And it's nobody saw your sale. Nobody knew that you ran a sale. Nobody opened your email. No one looked at your Facebook post. No one looked at your Instagram post. They don't, don't care. Say that. They're too busy. They're locked down. So I, the analogy I use, and I get, I get some crap for this ladies. I'm sorry. I know I like fishing. Okay. You're fishing. <laughs> and you're out, you're out on the open ocean. Okay. You're bobbing around. And the way that it works when you're open ocean fishing is sometimes the fish are up at the surface and they're biting and sometimes they're not. When they're not, you're not gonna get anything. And you sort of don't know when they're gonna go back down to the depths and come back up. When they come up, you better have a sail on. If you have a sail on, you're gonna do way better. And they're down below, they're not seeing it. They're not seeing anything that you're doing. They don't know that you ran a sail. They don't know you're gonna run a sail again in a couple of weeks. They have no idea. But when they come up, when they're ready to get a piece of art to their wall, if you have a sail and you have a line in the water, you stand a much better chance of pushing them over the edge. So okay. I'm okay. I've got a, I've got a quick follow up. Very very quick. Um, I, I struggle with the frequency of mentioning the sail because you know I like my wife is always like you 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 say that too much. You say that too much. Um, I mean, no should problem. I, should I mention it uh, right now? I'm trying to mention it every couple of days. You know, I'm doing a daily COVID-19 photo sharing break where I'm posting actual watermarked images on Facebook and encouraging people to share them out just sort of as a beauty break, uh, and maybe some audience building marketing romance type of stuff, but I'm trying to post links to particular works on Facebook. Mm -hmm and mention the sale every couple of days is is that am i gonna I, I know the whole you know when you think you're tired of hearing it people are just now hearing it but am i gonna drive people away no you're not i mean that, look the, the rules say that you know give 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 and then you can ask right so if the only thing you're ever doing is going around mentioning a sale mentioning a sale mentioning a sale that's that's probably suboptimal but as long as you're sharing content and as long as you're putting out some good non-salesy stuff from time to time, uh, don't be afraid to ask. And, you know, especially right now, I think pe people's attention is all over the place. People are stressed out. So we're, we're inclined to just push one sale right into the next sale. Right. <clears throat> Andy, I don't know if you saw. No one saw him. Yeah. When, when, and, and like my translation for when Pat says nobody's seeing your stuff, right, is like, think about your emails. You, you, you get a 20% open rate, right? And that's, that's normal. So 20%. 15%, like when you do a social media post or you do any of that stuff, such a low percentage of your audience is even seeing it. You think they're all seeing it, but they're just not. And so that's why you have, like, you actually want to do it multiple times. Cause if you only do it once, you know, you're not, hardly anybody's going to see it. And so the other thing is on Tuesday, we had Meg Knappenberger on the session and it was recorded. And there's a couple of really good things that she said on there that are like, like number one, when she's running a sale, like she's doing, she's last week, you know, and she got, just so you guys know, she got like $12,000 worth of orders in the last like five days. Okay. Like 15 dip. I think it was about 15. We're, we're going to send out something about it. Um, but I think it was like 15 different orders or so roughly there was a couple of originals were sold. There was limited five or six limited editions that were a thousand to 15 or 1800 bucks or something. And then the rest were open edition prints, but she announced the sale. And then every day she was doing an Instagram story and sending out an email about a specific piece that she was, that was like inspiring to her. And she just rewrote the new stuff. She was talking about how she, how she loved doing that. And then she also said how on the very last day, 
She had a, and this, Andy, this is an, uh, an interesting part. On the very last day, she sent her last chance email. And then at like, I think she said it was like at eight o'clock at night. She said like, she sent another thing out, uh, email and message and everything that was like four hours left. And she said that very last one, two in one day, two reminders in one day, that very last one got like, like four or five people last minute, you know, to, uh, to, to put the order through, to convert. So I think that answers your question, right? Like do it, like just do it, do it more frequently than you think. And romance in between, right? Something that we do whenever we run like some sort of a sale, if we're running like a one week sale, like at any of my companies, and we're going to remind you of a few times, right? As, as, as we coach you guys on, right? But in the off days where we're not really talking about the sale, we'll romance you. And then maybe in the PS of the email, you say like, oh, by the way, we're also running a sale right now if you didn't catch it the other day, right? And so we're literally talking about it seven days in a row. It's just that on three days, it's, in your, it's front and center. And then the other ones, it's a little bit more subtle. You know, by the way, PSs are really good to use. Um, there's some study that was done that said that like sometimes people will like read the first sentence of an email and then they'll scroll down and they'll, they'll read a PS. Like PSs actually get quite a bit of, um, uh, of eyeballs of attention. And so you use those every once in a while for like the secondary thing you're trying to promote. Not the primary call to action, but a secondary, you know? And you can say it in a cool way where you're not like, trying to get, you know, like you're trying to sell them. You're just like, Hey, if you didn't see it the other day, you know, I'm, I'm doing this right. Okay. Um, Debbie, you're up next. Go ahead, Debbie. Okay. Sorry. Got no Sorry. problem. Got back from the Taj Mahal pretty quickly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, quick question. I'm going to run my sale today. Yay. First time. And, um, All right. yeah, I'm excited. So I, but the coupon, when I keep checking, I think I did it right. I might need your tech people. It doesn't seem to pop down. Like I'm still the same, you know, uh, 20 and I changed my, have them, have them check it for okay. sure. And then, and then make sure that you or they, like add something to your cart, like a like a you're expecting a customer to do, and add the coupon, and just make sure that it works correctly. Okay, and are they and online to, to check with me? Because like you know, like to make an appointment or get them to it's a week away. Oh, if you, I mean, the best thing to do usually is to use the chat feature, like in the lower right hand corner of your screen. There should be oh, like right a support here? button, and it's live chat. You can get somebody oh. to help you like on the spot. But okay. um, we've got some people on the call here. Um, uh, Emily, Marco, whoever's on, I, I know we have like three or four people at a time. Um, I see Marco on here. If they can, if you guys can help, uh, um, Debbie, Debbie out, that would be awesome. Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Cause I'm going to do it. I'm going to have my email go out at two. So after this, cause I want them to, you know, make sure it's working. So awesome. Going. Thanks for everything. Good job. Good luck Glad to see you doing we that. Want, we want to hear about it. We want to hear about it. Um, Okay, Steven Cruz, you're up next. Go ahead, Steven. Oh, hi. Let me uh, get my camera. Um, yes, I have two questions. Yep. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing those two uh, strategies that you, you uh, told me to mm -hmm. do, the, uh, doing the um, uh, reaching out to the influencers, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm getting some, um, some um, responses one is from Pam, and the, and the other thing I want to talk about is is I'm doing the lot Instagram live. I, maybe you've seen some of my stuff. Yep, I've hopped on both of them. There are two of them. Yeah, I, yeah. I saw. Yeah, and just like feedback on that. Um, what I'm doing um, is um, on the hand to hand on the pan, on the I got somebody from Panama, mm -hmm. and they they came back to me and and emailed me and said for fifty bucks we can offer you sixty thousand uh, of our followers. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the two things that are kind of um, iffy about is it's in Panama, right? Yeah. And how can you guarantee 60,000? Here, here's, here's all I would do is just say, that sounds awesome. Can you send me like, you know, one or two people that I can chat with that have done this before that have gotten oh. good results and, 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 and talk to those people. Okay. That's what I, that's what I would do. Like they should be able to give you somebody, a customer 
who just paid money and got something out of it, right? Okay. That's what I would do. And then, and then it's still always risky when they're making you pay, but 50 bucks is not much, but I would want to just, you know, they should be able to give you, if they go dark, then they're full of BS. You know? Okay. Yeah. Pre-qualify them, you know, tell them to put the money up, you know? Yeah. Well, I've got, um, we've got a workshop on this tomorrow too. So I think you okay. should probably come, come and see that. And then, yeah. So that's number one. What was, what was the second question? Yeah. I'm doing the, 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 uh, outdoor gallery, uh, um, you know, in-house gallery. And mm -hmm. I ex described that the other day. Mm -hmm. I did the first one, you may have seen it. You know, I just put some things on this fence and, and I started talking about it. And there's a lot of kind of, a, it, 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 it's, it's awkward, but um, it's just, I don't know, uh, what I'm basically doing is doing a monogram now. I did the introductory and I, I'm now doing a monogram each day. I'm going to talk about one of my pieces, how I did that, how I executed it. And, um, you know, any thoughts on that? I mean, I mean, I'm, that's what I'm going to do. And I got like 18 or 20 of these sessions planned out. Um, I, I like the, I, I actually just love the idea. I think it's a, I mean, you're, you're just hacking away at it and you know, the, the yep. I, but I'm doing, I think it's just that like, if you're going to do live content, like, doing your own like gallery show type of thing, like broken up piece by piece. That's a really good thing to do. I think, I mean, you know, Meg was doing a lot of that, like while she was running her sale, which was really interesting. I mean, you got to have like, you know, that's again, back to like, you know, having a following and, and how much that'll do it for, but it, it's, it's a great thing to do. Like, of course, you know, I like it. Yep. Stay at it. And keep, keep in mind too, you know, with, with those Instagram lives, I just released a podcast on it that'll tell you, even if you're doing those and you don't have a big follower count yet, you're instantaneously getting an Instagram story out of it. And it takes very little effort to do, right? So you turn it on, even if you don't have a ton of audience, you save that thing, you have an Instagram story that's going to be in your feed for 24 hours and get you a little bit extra runway. So, um, you know, it takes time to build up an audience on those, but I also have got a bunch of hacks in the podcast about what to do if you don't have any followers uh, for the lives just yet. But you're doing you're doing great, Stephen. You got to just be patient and keep plugging away. Um, it's that's the frustrating advice always to hear, but that's 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 what's all you got to do. Yeah, give him one more question. And what did I do? What did I do? Hold on. Da, da, da. Here, wait, Stephen. We can't hear you. Hold on. I can unmute him right here. Oh, I got okay. him. Just one last thing. Another artist on that first uh, playbook, where where the Instagram, he 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 was an other artist, and he says, "What's in it for me?" You know, basically, what do I tell him? You know, the 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 in, the influencer. Oh yeah, on the, on, on the curator. Yeah. Um, well, what's in it for him is being able to give a free piece of artwork away to his followers and to his fans, and it makes him look cool. And if he doesn't see that as an opportunity, don't sweat it. Just move on and get another one. It's okay. the, the whole ball game is just like a massive amount of, of contacting him and find the right one. Or all, or he, you know, he may be. I don't. I he may be. Um, he may be negotiating to see if you'll give him something like I'll throw in an eight by 10 for you or something like that. Like, remember you can throw in an eight by 10 photo paper print for so dirt cheap. It's not even funny. Right. And you can say, Hey, this is a $50 print. I'll throw it in for you. And it's cost you like what eight bucks or something like that. So you, so he could be doing that. And I, and I will say, I will say that like, don't just immediately discount that guy because the guy that's a little bit harder to negotiate with or like, isn't just like, oh yeah, I'll do that right away. Might actually have some valuable people on his list following him. You know what I mean? You just don't know. It, it might not be, but, but you know, play the game a little bit and see. Yeah. Um, okay, Judith, over to you. Go Judith. Oh, hi. Um, I, um, I'm really slow at getting my art storefront um, page up. And um, uh, life circumstances have changed, and um, I'm now a store owner of a store called A Curated Nest. Um, it's very small space. I run it with my business partner. We're both um, local artists in Ottawa, Canada. And I've decided to convert my personal art storefront page, which never got launched, and turned it into a curated nest gallery page. Um, I'm in the process of uploading my images, my business partner's images, and um, we will likely as well at some point 
uh, bring on other artists as we carry them in our store. Um, my question is, we, uh, we have a fairly good following um, for a curated nest in Ottawa, um, Instagram page and Facebook. But I want to know, should I uh, create a separate uh, business Facebook page for the gallery side, as well as a separate Instagram page for the gallery? So or, the following that you say is good, is that your personal one? Uh, no, my personal one, Art by Judith Anderson, is just OK. I, well, which uh, is the one that's good? Uh, a curated nest. So you want to create another one? Well, OK, so Curated Nest is a store. We sell our art. We sell prints. We also sell home decor items. Um, I'm just wondering, with all the marketing that's about to take place, should I also have a separate Facebook and Instagram page for the gallery side of our business? I probably wouldn't. OK. It sounds like too much complication and it's hard enough to do all the marketing anyway, right? Like every, you know, everybody's not doing enough marketing already. And so anything where I'm like, oh no, that's two accounts to manage. That's okay. too like, you know, romance marketing you'll be happy yeah. to do for both. And I also think that like, why not market the art, like the cross uh, promotion capability of your home decor customers Right, it's, it's really good for promoting your art through it, right? Like if you're having, if you're having foot traffic coming through because you have home decor items, and then you're also selling your art, yeah. you're kind of getting more leads, you know, coming through, which is really cool. Okay, well that's a big relief because I I couldn't picture myself putting in double the time to do marketing on two, you know, two sites. And then, um, um, okay. Yeah, and follow follow the art marketing calendar. Definitely okay. come to the workshop tomorrow, or make sure yes. you see it, because, yes. yeah, the, the workshop tomorrow is is like the the main marketing strategy that we've been promoting for the last like month, um, because it's particularly what everybody can and should be doing during this pandemic when everything is online, right? And it's about getting leads and getting more eyeballs on your products, okay. on your art, right? Um, and in your case, when even though, even though like we're here to help photographers and artists, you know, in galleries as well, like build their own businesses, you um, understand that the marketing program that we put together is like, you can practically apply it to any business, right? Yeah. Practically, not completely, but practically. And so you can weave in your other products into it you know what I mean? In your own way. Like you might do a romance post for some cool home decor product you have. Right. Okay. Um, and you might do a, a sale sometime on your home decor products or it's everything in your store. Right. So right. Um, just, I want you to make sure that you know that. So you're thinking about it that way that you're going to apply it to your whole business, not just the art. Okay. Okay. Well, this makes it even more complicated because we also are about to launch a Shopify account for our home decor items um, because Shopify for us in Canada works really well. And, um, um, and so we've kind of kept uh, our home decor separate from our art, but- Are they, are they like print on demand items or do you, no. are you, do you actually have physical inventory? We have physical inventory. We I mean, you don't handled. have to, like you could yeah. set those up as standard products on the art storefront site. Wow, okay. Did you not, did you not know that? Uh, no, <laughs> we didn't know that. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, it can all be set up and you could have one site and your life could be a lot easier. Yeah. And our team will help you with all of that. Okay. Um, in fact, Marco, can you guys, um, what is it Judith Anderson? Yes, that's me. Yeah, Marco, can you guys, can we get a call to Judith from, with our tech team some point here. Uh, they'll reach out to you and, and set a time or figure it out and like get you the articles that you need and the help you need to like set that up or at least see what it could be. Um, Cause it's really simple to just take one product, create a standard product, create a standard, you create a standard store, you create a standard product. You can, you know, 
you have all the capabilities right there. And so now you got one site that you're driving everybody to and all your marketing to, and it's simple. Okay, Ben, you are up next. Go ahead, Ben. Hi, how's everybody? Hey, Ben. Hey, I just wanted to say thank you guys for this amazing help. Man, so good. Thank you so um, much. We appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, good, good stuff. So um, yesterday I had my first live chat, um, nice. which was kind of amazing. Uh, I um, chose someone who was, uh, who was one of my models and I um, interviewed them. It was an hour long. Does he have a big, does he have a big following then? He had 35,000 followers. Nice, nice. I Whoa. have, and I'm picking people to interview that have big followings. Although I'm being interviewed on my site today by a fan. I'm nice. gonna try to do one of these a day. Just- Great, great idea, that. great wow. idea. Um, I got fantastic. really good feedback from it. Like, man, it was really great to hear in your voice. What um, and you know, thought-provoking um, uh, comments from me and my model. But it it was really great. We had eight hundred people on that. That's huge, dude. That's harder. That's that's higher than we've had on an Instagram stream. That's tremendous. That's what you get. That's what you get when you pick somebody with a huge amount of following. Yeah. I have that's the way to do it. I have seventeen thousand followers on. Oh, you've got a bunch too. Yeah. How did did are you did you did you get a sense or how many followers you picked up after the thing was over? Um, I just turned. I I know I had a hundred new followers. Hundred new followers. There you go. Now rinse and repeat again. And rinse again. and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse. Yeah. And especially, especially, you know what that tells you, Ben? Like to, to Patrick and I, when we see something like that, it's like, okay, they really like the content. And if they like, not everybody's going to be able to do that the same way. Right. But you know, it's, it's your, it's you, your personality, your product, your following, whatever it is, if it works for you and you see, and the feedback is the fact that they followed you after the fact, it means that that content is compelling. Yeah. And you should so, continue doing it. So on that call, we offered two free prints. Oh, this is getting of, even better. Of this image that I just, it's a brand new image of him. Mm -hmm. And we offered two. One, I, I, um, titles are important to me. Mm -hmm. And also, um, references or quotes from famous people, I always add to my imagery on social media. So I, we are having a contest, he and I, um, and we're both, people can comment on the images on either his site or my site. And- Site or Instagram page you mean? Instagram page. Yep. And um, we are gonna give two prints away. So um, it was huge and he, Fantastic. Was super, he was super excited about it. And so am I, and we got a lot of traction. So yeah, and you can take, you can take that success and approach your other models or whoever. Right. And, and it's like, I have one, I have one set up on Sunday who has <laughs> another 35,000. Awesome. So awesome. I've got them lined up. I have, I have five people who approach me after that, who I've shot. Um, who want to do the same thing and they have huge followings. Yeah. And I would, I would also look at doing that, like, like with the same person, like once a quarter, if you can, or if they'll do it, like make sure they're happy and they're stoked. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, because you're just going to rinse and repeat over. This could be, this, this could actually like completely be the whole driver of your business. Right. Like, because these people have these followings and it's big, this thing is working well and you start building a big following and you're getting them onto your email list too, and you keep doing it, it could be a great, like this could be a great growth mechanism. Yeah. Selling the prints, booking more shoots. And I, I haven't even given away half the tricks I've got on these things either. So on that workshop next week, might be next week, Friday, uh, I'll get into even more ROI that you can get out of them. But let me tell you, it's, you know, it's, they're no easy task and there's a lot of trade craft that goes into them. And, it's, you know, it's no different than riding a bike or going snowboarding. Like, you know, day 25, you actually can 
snowboard pretty effectively, right? Like it, it, it takes some time to understand the trade craft and how to pin comments and how to answer it and the timing and the tempo uh, and how to make it compelling and interesting. And then, you know, you got to test various different things with the print giveaways too. So you, you've you got a channel that's working. You've got big Instagram followers. You're in a way better position than most artists because here we are in a pandemic situation and you're not starting from zero. You've got 17,000 followers and some other big ones. So I would keep say- watch, Ben, keep watching keep ours um, on Instagram. And when you're watching ours, notice the trade craft more than the content. You know what I mean? Like everybody's there for the content, but in your case, notice some of the trade craft. Patrick is extremely good at this. Okay. Every time he's always adding new things and level, you guys don't even know, like he's got something today that's brand new, you know, some sort of tech that he's, he's always working. Uh, but when I say the trade craft, it's like, you know, the people that have been doing them a while, they, they start noticing like what, what other people who are doing them, who have been doing them longer do. Like, for example, you hop on and, and Patrick will do things like they'll be just immediately welcoming people, right? Like while you're waiting for other people to come on, he's like, oh, hey, Dave, you know, like, and then people are like, oh, wow, that was me. Right. So there's, there's just little things like that. Then he's gotten into like pinning the comment. Like when there's a good comment, you can pin the comment. And I, I, he's just started doing this like a week ago. I was like, how did you do that? Like, what were you doing there? That was great. So that he pinned a comment and then I think everybody can see that pinned comment, right? Is that true, Pat? Yes. Is it pinned for you and I, or is it pinned for everybody? Everybody. Yeah. So everybody's seeing this awesome comment that he wants everybody to see. And then, you know, when the moment is right, then we answer that question or whatever it is. And then you move on to another one and you do it again. So there's cool trade craft in it that will get you to, to, to do those even better. But good job. Stay at them. Um, Great job. Definitely listen to the podcast if you didn't, because there's some, there's some other stuff in there for you, but now I'm excited to throw your other, all your trade craft in there. Yeah. Make sure you listen to that podcast because he's going to, he's going to do a lot with that. I think they're, I think they're going to emerge live broadcasts across the board, especially Instagram live right now for artists and photographers is one of the breakout marketing hacks of 2020. Have they been around for a while? Yes, they've been around for years, but the combination of the technology getting significantly better and easier uh, with COVID lockdown has just like brought them to the, to the surface. And, you know, these, inter these interviews are, are, I mean, insane. And Ben is, is absolutely doing the exact right thing because he's exposing his work to people with huge follower accounts and getting 800 people on a stream. I mean, you know, 800 people on a stream for an hour, like, you know, your local news broadcast barely gets 800 people for a sustained hour. So you have to, you have to, you have to appreciate how big of a deal that is. It's phenomenal. I, I think, you know, and I'm, I'm going to like, I'm just going to add, like, let's, let's talk about this for just one more second. Cause I think it's important. The thing mm -hmm. that I love about the lives personally, when we're doing the lives is that, um, you know, it automatically turns into an Instagram story, right? It's great content. The Instagram story only lasts for 24 hours though, but you have figured out a way to download them or I don't, I, I don't know if, if we're downloading them or we're just, one of our team members is, is just using the screencast-o-matic and literally just taping it, right? After the fact, I and know. then it goes, and then you can upload it into your Instagram TV where it's permanently in your feed. And I think that that's huge because if, if, uh, if people are doing like, you know, if you're, if you're doing an interview like that, you know, you, it would be great for it to live somewhere. You know, like if you've got the video, you can upload it to your YouTube channel. You can up, upload it to Instagram TV. You can upload it to Facebook at that point. You can put it on your website, you know, like that's just phenomenal content and you don't want to lose it. So what are your thoughts on that, Pat? Should we be doing like, yeah, we should so probably show them what are, what are we doing anyway? How are we doing? Why don't, why don't you jump on one right now? Let's just jump on one right now. This is how easy these things are to ship, right? Like I'm just so going we're gonna to go live right now. I'm now live. You see how hard that was to do? Boy, that was hard to do. Nick's gonna jump on in two seconds. This is how, this is what I mean, like how good the technology's gotten. It's phenomenal. And you'll see people will start to to jump on because I'm actually on the art storefronts account. We've got a decent amount of followers. <laughs> Gretchen just jumped on. Nick just jumped on. Gre yeah, okay. So Gretchen left me a comment. One, I'm gonna get Nick on. Two, I'm gonna pin Gretchen's comment. And so all I do is I, I just rest my finger on it and it allows me to pin it. And so there's Gretchen's comment to pin. That simple. And now, and now Nick's writing a conversation. Oh, I gotta turn the line. Yeah. So that easy, like that easy. And look, like followers are jumping on. Hey guys, how you doing? You wave at people like, hey. And that, and that like does like this little wave thing on their screen. So they see it, you know, Taylor just jumped on. So it's, it's literally that easy. Sorry guys, I was just testing some things. So then you end it. We just shipped it. Yep. 
you end it, you end now shows you exactly how many viewers you have. You can share it to your story. I'm not going to share that one to the story, but what we do after the fact is we go in and hold on. Oh, I realized that I got to do something here. Hold on. Sorry. Okay. Now Facebook can see it too. So you go to most people's Instagram profile and they don't have IGTV videos, even us going back, let's just say like a month, we never had any IGTV videos, but look what my IGTV videos are. This one we posted yesterday, 374 views. This one uh, a couple, like earlier in the week, 627 views and look what it is. It's just the Instagram live. So we're pulling the Instagram lives down. Okay. And, I, and I'm going to teach all this in a workshop. So I'm just kind of giving you guys a, a, a preview of it, so to speak, but we run the Instagram live. This is, this is what I'm talking about. ROI return on marketing activity. We run the Instagram live. There is a lifespan that it has as a live broadcast. And, you know, up here at the top, you get you, you, this thing lights up that it's live. You were just live. And so not only are you at the top of the thing when you're actually live, after the fact, it's saved to your story. So now you have a story there that's for 24 hours. Then you download the thing. After you download the thing, you put it onto Instagram Live or uh, IGTV. Once it's on IGTV, so here it is, like again, the IGTV one. And you can see I've made the little thumbnail. Guess where else it goes? It goes to the actual Instagram feed. So for one piece of activity that I got, I just got a live video that lasted for as long as the live video did. Then, uh, then I got um, a saved story for 24 hours. After the saved story for 24 hours is done, then I've downloaded it. Now I'm posting it on IGTV, which, lit, which is also a post in my feed. And all of that from just turning the thing on and talking for as long as that took me to do. I'm telling you right now, that is significant ROI. That is a massive ROI in terms of a marketing activity. And if, it, if you don't have any followers, it's going to be crickets on your live stream. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The content you get out of it is phenomenal. So it's content I mean, creation, right? It's content creation on steroids. Yeah, and they, you know, and you remember, remember Meg said this uh, on Tuesday because she's doing the lives now, um, and and I know you and I feel the same way about it. Is that there's an informality to it because it's live, right? Because it was live, that you don't need to prep, like you don't need to look perfect. It, not, not everything has to be perfect, and and all that stuff, right? So which makes it just easier to ship. You can just do more and more and more of them. Hey, you got a piece right now you're going to talk about? Just talk about it. Just go live just like we did. It takes, all you got to do is push one button. You can go live and you can talk about this original or whatever it is, this piece, this limited edition that you want to sell on the spot. And talk about everything you love about it and romance verbally, you know? Yep. So we'll, we're going to teach a workshop on how to do all of that stuff. I'm still hacking through um, some of the things. Um, and it's beyond the scope of this one to, to show it all. And, and that includes the downloading or, yeah. or retaping. Are we retaping it? Is that what we're doing? I'm just curious. No, download it. We are downloading. Okay. I don't know. I got like four different systems going, to be honest with you. I haven't even ironed out which one I like the best. <laughs> yeah. So I'll, 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 I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Yeah, Timmy anyway. was asking that in the, in the chat, but we'll, we'll put the whole thing together and we'll, we'll teach it. Yeah. And it, it does require some minimal, minimal, minimal video editing skills, but that's it. And I, and I, and I think everyone can do it, but Emily, go ahead. You're up. Uh, me, Emily. Yeah. Yes. Emily. Oh, okay, cool. Hi. Hey. Um, yes. I just want to, um, jump on the bandwagon and say, thank you so much for the, all of these. These are like, we love them. Thank you. We okay. love the bandwagon. Love <laughs> um, and by the way, if you guys, if you guys, uh, really get value out of this and you guys love it, I would love it personally. If you guys could go to our Facebook page and drop a review like, and just talk about these workshops. Like that's like my food, that's my fuel. My team, what you guys don't know is we have this internal communication to, uh, 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 software called Slack. And we have a channel that I have my entire team. I say, anytime that we get positive feedback, you, you post it in there because that's, that's what I wanna see, right? And you go get as much positive feedback as you can. That's why you probably see our support team, you know, uh, is as good as, as they are. But anyways, go ahead, Emily. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Um, so, um, so I've been, so I came on like probably like a month before, you know, the, this, all of this happened. And, mm -hmm. and I, I noticed like the first, the first month I, I got, you know, an increase in sales. Um, like I was up to like maybe one a week and or one, um, one print a week. And then I have commissions and everything has dropped away. I've, I know that there's art selling, but I feel like it just disappeared. And, um, uh, and I'm not sure if I did something wrong. I'm not sure if, you know, if it's 
I, I recognize the times that we're in, but I also like, you know, I've been on here and I know that this stuff is sale, selling. So I, I guess I just don't know, like I've increased a lot what the, the um, uh, I've taken on and I've done like all the tasks that you guys suggest. I've, um, I bumped up, I, I forever, I have been like, I don't want to do stories. Those were so annoying. And I always just started doing them because I saw Meg the other day and they weren't that hard. So um, all of that stuff. And I just, but I, I feel discouraged to be honest that like, this is, um, uh, that it's just, it's just fallen flat. Um, so I don't know if there's a, I don't know if there's a question in there, but I guess I, I don't, well, you got to keep building your list. And I know that you have been doing the Facebook group, you know, Instagram thing, right? Yeah. Um, you should keep doing w way more of that because the question is, if you were getting sales and you've like ran a sale, like, have you kind of like, 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 for example, if Meg, like, she's gonna, she's gonna, she already did it today. She, she took my advice and she, um, she extended her sale through this week, right? Yeah it's not going to do more than likely as well as it did last week. It'll right. probably do a little bit worse, but after that, she kind of has to take a rest on it for a while and build her list up because she just, she just, you know, went all the way through it. So you like, if you feel like you've exhausted everything in that email list for right now, then you yeah. need more. Right. The other thing is though, is, um, excuse me, <coughs> you got to make sure that, that your language and your offers and everything is kind of with the times. Like we were talking this week about um, Zoom backgrounds, doing a sale, like, you know, talking about um, making sure that you're like tying in the fact that people are buying home decor right now, you know? Yeah. And I don't know that that matters for your exact situation, but like, you know, have you, have you offered like, you do commissions, right? Have you offered like a great deal on commissions right now? Actually, this week I'm running a great deal in commissions, and um, I haven't had a single bite. How much I'm do you doing, charge for them? Um, I charge normally. I charge between seven fifty and nine fifty, depending on timing. And so I did a twenty percent off. Um, and uh, and I even reached out to some people that were said they were interested like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, and um, and several people said honestly they were like, you know, I I can't. I'm not buying anything right now. I can't. And I will when, you know, I, but I will definitely come back when it, when it, you know, when I have. Yeah. Those I have. are, those are not the right people for sure. I was saying like the other day that, um, you know, like people who like the typical art buyers, even, you know what I mean? Like they're not, they're not getting that hurt in this whole situation. Well, no, but the, here's, you okay. Know? So here's the thing is that frustrating for me is that um, because my work is, uh, and maybe this is also, I need to work on how to translate what I do, but it's, um, but because it's digital painting and people come to me who are, who might be, you know, interested in a higher dollar art collector or whatever, but they, but they go, oh, well, I didn't realize it was digital, you know, and then they're just like, adios. So it's. Oh, because um, they're probably looking for a painting. Well, right. But then, you know, it's. I'm sort of at a, I'm just sort of at a, I think a, a challenging sort of place in that people aren't yet understanding that these are paintings. And no matter how much I describe, you know, it's a new medium. So- um, Yes, exactly. So it's, so I, I try to, I try to describe that as much as possible. I try to, you know, show videos, all that sort of stuff. And maybe it's just the place that I'm in right now. Maybe that's just what this is. I don't know, but, um, I would like to see more of a return out of it. Uh, yeah, I think, I mean, I don't think you're doing anything wrong. I mean, cause if you were selling before and you're just, and it's just kind of petered off right now at this time, yeah. like this is just, I mean, it, it's just one of those situations where when you run into a weird situation in the economy, you hope to have a very strong business so that it gets a little weaker, you right. know, but it's not like, you know, completely dead. And, well, it's um, not completely dead, actually. So, like, I actually do um, work for a couple of local stores who sell puzzles out of my paintings, and they're they're like, you know, can't keep them in stock, so they're going to want more work, which is great. Um, so, you know, it's not like it's gone. It's just it's yeah. And the other, the other thing too on the commissions, like a thought that I had, and I'll just I'll just mention it just in case is like, can you do a commission that's like a three hundred dollar commission or a five, a five like just yeah, get totally. It? like get the price point down. Are, do you do, are you offering those or do they know that you have those? 
Um, usually because you might want to just like really clearly okay. like map it out like eight by ten. Commit, you know, I can do one for one seventy five. Yeah, right. Yeah. And you just kind of show the little like a, an example or a size, and yeah. you just have like each of the size and the price points of with it. Um, I saw that done by a gal on our platform actually yesterday uh, because we were we're, we're going to be coming up with like a commission playbook and like a oh, template right. page and she sells a lot of commissions and she has that right so she's got like she's just got like um she's got it laid out where it's like there's an eight by ten like on a wall and there's not even an image in it it's almost just like a frame mm -hmm. you know what i mean like a or an out, uh, just a box outline it says eight by ten and the price and mm -hmm. then it just goes up so you can see like oh you can get a commission on any of these sizes, um, but the price point might be the issue. You know what it I mean? It might be the issue. It might be. Um, so if you if you if you focus on a lower price point, then maybe some of them will do it. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. And then um, I also I, think that like you got to really turn the gas on on other on on other marketing, right? On like more lead generation and things like that. All th this this is this always is the case, right? Yeah. But when you have no choice, you got to just do more of it and get even more creative on it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Which that's the workshop we're doing tomorrow. I mean, it's you. You've yeah, been I'll, doing I'll this. Be doing, for, I'll, I'll come. For yeah, that. and and come with like, you know, um, because you you've been doing this for a while for a little while, right? I you've have. Been doing I, that? Yeah. And so I have. like, it would be good to to talk about. Um, you know, any other ideas about like other groups and curators and things that you can go after for yeah. commissions, not yeah. just like, like just, just hitting everything. Right. Like right. ideally I would want you to be able to, like, if I was working on this with you, I yeah. would be like, Emily, how can we find like 200 different curator groups to contact 200, yeah. right? Let's, let's, let's brainstorm. Right. So maybe like tonight you can do that. Like like what's every angle with every product that you sell or that you can sell, right? Yeah. To get business going, like commissions of this, commissions of that, prints of this, prints of that. How, what, what, like how far and wide can we go on, on trying to find like 200 of them? Because if we get 200, I'm pretty confident that we can get 10 or 20 of them to do something with you, right? Like yeah. do the giveaway or do something cool. I mean, there's so many possibilities of what I do because it's digital. So I feel like there's um, there's there's a lot of opportunity there. I just I I just you know I'm sort of at a I just sort of and I feel bad even saying it's a, anything on here because I feel like I should be just sharing like good news. But I I'm just frustrated. You know, it's just yeah. Well, I mean, look, it is what it is. You got we got to talk it through. You know, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like that's what I like. Think about that tonight because it's like right. if you can do commissions of dogs and pets. Oh right? yeah. Right, like, what do you normally promote for your commissions? Well, I normally promote the, I, I post the artwork, I watermark it and post the artwork. And I say, you know, like, just got done with this adorable, you know, little like golden doodle or whatever. And, um, and you know, meet Hazel or something like that. And I do something cute and like, you know, one or two liners. And then- I mean, is it um, mostly pets? No, I do pets. I do people. I do landscape. Yeah, because I mean, like Mother's Day is coming up. Like you could do, you could do something for wedding photo. You know what I mean? Like a wedding right. photo. Um, right. Like just, I mean, because you can do that, like all these different things, you have the ability to, um, to go after so many genres, right? Like, right. It, like Pat, I, I got to bring you in on this, but we were talking to, like to Bill Stidham, uh, the painter, right? And he he does. Um, he does uh, like paintings of like all sorts of famous musicians and even celebrities, right? And so he's got like Slash from Guns N' Roses. And it's like, I mean, just going after the Guns N' Roses fans alone with one giveaway is like a massive audience, right? Then he's got the Beatles. Then he's got, I mean, you name it. He literally has like every famous band musician. And then he's got like the San, some guys on the San Antonio Spurs and he's got, you know, Elton John, he's got all sorts of stuff. And we're sitting there just going, oh my goodness, you literally could go after so many different, um, you know, groups online. Like and fan groups. Everything. As a potential. And so if you did that using the commission, your ability to do commissions yeah. and just know that like babies, like uh, weddings, wedding pictures. Um, well, I just actually made a, um, a, a partnership with a local really high-end, I live on the, the coast in um, 
Portsmouth, New Hampshire, really high end main um, inn that does weddings. And they were just like, we just started right before this. And then, you know, they're like, we have to close for a while, blah, yeah. blah, blah. But like, that's what I was, that's what I've been wanting to do. I mean, weddings are like, I mean, nobody's going to stop getting married. That's nobody's right. going to stop. You know, those are the guest things. Guest list might be a little bit smaller than it was before, sadly. Yeah, it might be a little smaller. Mm -hmm. But um, but people are still spending the same amount of money. That's the thing. Yeah. Like, that's what they were saying anyway, is that people are still going to get married. They're just going to, it's going to be smaller and it's going to be, um, but it's still going to be the same amount of money. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I mean, like, you can contact the wedding planners, right? Like, they can't even make any money right now. You know, and it's like, hey, do you want to do, a, I'd love to do a giveaway for, you know, and then I'd love to work with you after the fact. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we can, I can give a, a, an exclusive deal to your clients only. So when they, at, when they get married, they get 25% off a commission because they uh, did their wedding planning through you. Right. Yeah. And then, but you might be able to create some partnerships right now, but you see where I'm going with this? Yeah, yeah, Is yeah. That like, totally. If you can do like like if you think about like Bill Stidham's situation, it's like, oh my gosh, there's an ocean of groups and curators. When you think about like every band, <laughs> you know? Oh and God, so yeah. Case, like any type of commission that you can do, you know, you could target dip, like breeds, like think about all the different breeds of dogs, right? All right. the different, like, I mean, whatever it is, like yeah. your home, like, can you do homes? Could you do a home? Yeah. Like, so you could do if somebody, you know, somebody's home. Um, people yeah, have. Might love so that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll think about that tonight and I'll try because to that's, out. that's how, that's how you'll just expand your marketing and get, you know, like during this time and get through this time to where you get Ooh. back to normal times. I have an idea. I could also throw in, like I could do a portrait of something and then I could throw in like a mug with the same artwork on it. Yep. Exactly. That kind of thing. Okay. Exactly. I just okay. think that if you're, if you can't tap the list you already have and the following you already have, right. then you got to just literally as aggressively as possible and as quickly as possible yeah. like if i were in your shoes i would be like okay for the next like two days i'm going to literally contact like 100 200 of these different groups and, and i'm going to get i'm going to be doing work that i never did before yeah right? like yeah. i'm going to i'm going to think about every any commission you've ever done and just be like okay that's going to be my example for the people who want dogs and this right. is going to be the one for homes or you know right. and it's just going to get you in front of a lot more people and i'm sure that in doing that, you're going to tap into something. Yeah. Okay. You know? And so yeah. like, and that, and that might end up solving your problem. Like maybe, maybe digital commissions, the way that you do them, lend themselves really well to some sort of content that right. you haven't found yet. Right. Cause I have, I have a painting. I had a commission done of my wife and I, um, and it's a painting and, uh, I would kind of want that to be a painting. You know what I mean? That's yeah. just me. Right. But there's probably some stuff that lends itself extremely well to digital. And, I do a lot um, of portraits of people for, you know, people. Yeah, I, can you drop it. your website in the chat? I just want to yeah. look at them. Yeah, totally. Um, I see I so many sites. Actually. I know I've been to your site before, but uh, I want to yeah. see them. Yeah, and if you have any suggestions, I would love it, you know. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm totally open. I am, I do, honestly, I do not care what I do. I just, you know, as long as I can make it slightly enjoyable for myself and you know make make you know bring income i'm cool like you know yeah i think i think you just got to hustle right now at this specific time like your world is different in you yeah. know it's everybody's is different after after this pandemic is done but right now i gotta tell you i mean like sometimes the most creative breakthroughs come through in these times because all the bs is out of the way yeah. and and it's like you know you're forced to like get creative with what you do and you're People, people, their, their, um, their, like, I don't know, their apprehensions or their biases about what they want to do or don't want to do, like they just yeah. get thrown out of the way. And it's like, okay, I'm just doing that because I have to. And right. then all of a sudden, you're led to a breakthrough. You know? You know, so I, I mean, think about that. I'll check out your site. Okay. Um, and then, and then we'll see you tomorrow at the workshop. Okay. Awesome. And it's at two, right? Or two Eastern? Uh, yeah. Same time. Okay. We're sticking with the same times for every single workshop to make it easy okay. on you guys. Okay. And us. Okay. Thanks, Thanks Emily. So okay. Yeah, you're welcome. Birds in paradise, you're up. Hi, <clears throat> I um, had my site live for a while, but I haven't had time to work on it until recently. So I'm wondering if I could get a review of it, just see if it's anything needs to be changed. 
Yeah, we'll do it. We've got a we've got a workshop on every Wednesday that's uh, specifically for the site reviews. But you know what? Let's do yours really fast. Let me see if I see anything. What's your web address? <clears throat> Birdinparadise.com. That's a good one. This is my last name is Bird, and I live in Hawaii. So. Oh, where do you live in Hawaii? Kona. Got it. Been there many times. Yay. I got married on Lanai, actually. Oh, nice. I have friends. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I love this. I mean, you, you're actually like, you're doing this exactly the way that I would personally do it. Um, you're sticking with the design. It's very minimalistic. Um, I got to, let me share my screen. Sorry. Everybody's probably wondering what I'm looking at. Can you guys see it? Okay. So yeah, nice logo, simple uh, billboard if you're going to use one, um, clean, love it. Let me go into one of the products here. What I still would do though, um, did you get a technical site audit from the team? Did they ever do that? No. Okay. I would, I would request that from the support team. You can do it in chat. In fact, they're on this call. Marco, can we get a technical site audit for, um, can you tell them your full name? Denise Bird. Denise Bird. Yeah, your media types are perfect. Actually, there is one problem. You're offering, oh, I, I guess that's right. With the canvas, the way that Bay Photo has it, you kind of have to do it this way. Um, yeah, you got five media types. I like it. Not too many sizes. You're good to go. You did a great job. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you've got, I mean, I, I've got nothing to say here uh, except get the technical site audit just because they'll look at the kind of the insides and some of the guts behind the scenes to make sure everything's good there. But you're you're ready to just start doing a lot of marketing like your site is good there's nothing preventing you from getting sales you just gotta accept for marketing so <laughs> okay so, thank you well done thank you so much you're welcome okay, okay Joy, you're up next Uh, yes, we can now. Wonderful. Sorry, I don't have the uh, the camera on today. No problem. Um, so um, I've been getting some sales, which is very I'm very awesome. happy about, um, and I'm getting great traction lately on my Facebook page. I went in two months. Up Wait, to Joy, can you remind me because I can't see your face? You you you're the one. Didn't don't you sell in Laguna like right yes. by Las Brisas? Yes. Yes, okay. in that gallery. Because like two weeks ago, you hadn't really, you, you just got started here, right? And you, you hadn't gotten any sales really yet? I had no sale. I had one sale through a friend. And then in the last two days, I've had two sales. Um, the gallery in Laguna, as you know, is closed for now, right? Um, so hopefully that opens. I'm also scheduled to do Art Affair. Um, nice. And they're telling me it's still going on. But quite frankly, I just can't even imagine because now they're saying that everything's shut down in California, right? For any large events. Yeah. Um, so I need to like send my, my um, all paperwork is all done. I need to send my final payment in this week. Kind of sketched out as to, you know, people are saying, even if you do it, who's going to show up, right? That's number one. Um, so kind of wondering about that. And also the stats for Facebook. I've been on my my personal Facebook page for two months and I have a thousand followers and none of which are my friends. I mean, some friends, right? But mostly it's just organic growth. Um, is that, are they good stats for Facebook? Yes. Yeah, you're on a great path. Okay, and I'm, what I'm doing, I'm getting like 20, 30 emails a day. I'm having engaging with these people all day. You know, obviously, this is my full time gig. I was 20 or 30 email. emails a day. That's I'm get well, I am, right? They're, they're commenting on my posts. Oh, comments. Okay, okay. Yeah, not you. emails. I'm sorry. Comments, and I'm, get, I'm engaging with them all day. And um, are you, aren't you working with John Lechner? I was, yes. He mm -hmm. def definitely helped run a few of my ads, he did a great job. <laughs> Um, I've kind of let go of the ads for now, you know, to see what happens. I was running like five ads, which 
it several hundred dollars a month. Um, so I've kind of, do you know if those sales came from the ads or where they came from? Well, that was another thing. So I, my bad, I never even knew about this detective thing, the detective button. And I just discovered it yesterday. And I see people are hitting my site. One person hit it a hundred times. Another person hit it 50, like crazy numbers. But then when I, I mean, that just shows you that they're like, you remember last time you were like, um, you know, people are coming to my site. I don't, why aren't they buying? I don't know when they're going to buy. It's like when you start seeing that people are taking that kind of behavior, like you can see like what they're moving down the funnel, right? Right. Like they're getting, they're like, okay, they're getting more engaged and they're coming back multiple times. That means they're really getting connected to you and your work. Right. And the one person that bought, I went into his cart and I saw he had like 10 other items and I guess he couldn't decide what he wanted. Um, But I'm noticing they're buying small first to check me out, Mm -hmm. right? So they're buying matted prints for 50, 60, 80 bucks. They're not doing anything on canvas. They're not doing anything on metal. I've started to put reviews on my Facebook page. Um, So all that's happening. But my question is the conversion. I mean, when I look at the detective, it looks wonderful. Like I was shocked. I couldn't believe I had all this stuff going on. And then when I look at conversion, my number is five. It, it pivots between 5.5 and 6.5. Yeah, I don't. You said it should be five or, or not oh, below no, five. It should be at least five. Okay. So it's at least five. That's great. Um, it, and, but I, 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 I don't know what else I'm not doing. I'm doing, I, oh, I got 120 um, people through my giveaway. Um, my giveaway yeah. is being shipped this week. And the person that got my giveaway actually said she was going to buy something anyway and did. Awesome. I love the giveaway. Gotta love the giveaway. Joy, you're like, you're like in the perfect spot because it's like you, 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 you just, you just launched your site. You're starting to do all this marketing. You're clearly getting traction all over uh-huh. and it's a game of compounding. Right. So like if I, I wish I, I, I've got a whiteboard that's actually getting shipped to me now for my right. house so I could do things for you guys. But if you imagine the sales funnel, you're putting people in the top and they're in like stage one, right? Right. And let's say they got to get to like stage seven by the uh-huh. time they get out the bottom. You're, you're every month, like you're adding new people into the top and then the people from the previous month are moving down, right? And then some of them will go all the way through because they have a need, but you're constantly just putting more people in and you're going to have compounding happen. So you just want to stay the course and keep doing what you're doing. Okay. And, um, come to this workshop tomorrow for sure. I am, I am. And I'm getting like 20 to 30 followers a day on Facebook um, and people are sharing my stuff. And I went to a few of their web, you know, their, I I clicked on them and I was like shocked that, and they're giving me credit, right? They're not just a few people captured my photo and put it up without my name, which I was pissed about, but what are you going to do? Um, But obviously everybody else is actually promoting me. So that's great. Yeah, you got all the good signs. I mean, Pat, what do you say about this? Just stay at it and stay consistent. That's it. You're doing great. And would I would you do I, the I, good art affair? Would you do the art affair? Yeah, I would. I'm I'm optimistic that this I think this thing is a really nasty flu. I'm I'm not gonna be dissuaded from that. I'm right flipping about people dying. I think this is way overblown and way over. I, I agree. I agree. It's just like well, no, they should go up. I, I live in Newport. I'm only you know, I'm right there. So right, right. I you know, and I think you probably see like I see like I mean, I saw 25 adults on a patio having adult beverages yesterday. Oh, yeah. And then people were right, not rioting, but they were in San Clemente doing a walk. I don't know if you knew about that, but they're marching and because people are done. They don't want to stay home anymore. Yeah, yeah. that's totally like, happening. I think uh, I think big picture like, you you know, you cannot have people locked down for this long when no one knows anyone that's sick and no one knows anyone that's dying. I know it's a like, little bizarre. Yeah. I'm right with you on that. Not to get political, but I get it. Yeah. Joy, okay. are they giving you a deal at all on it? Or is it just- No, the they're price? not giving, no, no. And I said, well, what happens if it doesn't happen, right? Because on Facebook, I'm part of all these Laguna groups and they're like, this isn't going to happen. There's no way pageant is going to go on. Their playhouse is already, um, they're giving refunds for all the plays in Laguna. Mm. And I can't imagine pageant, uh, sawdust, that's all going to happen. But- I can't imagine it. I mean, you know- and, and, That'll I'm, kill I'm, Laguna. I'm trying to think about it because honestly, when I lived there, I went every single summer. My wife and I would go literally oh, I love every it. summer. Yep. To all th- to all of them. We would do right. the pageant, we would do the sawdust, just right. make a night of it, you know? Right. 
it was so much fun. And so we're like the typical consumer of those, of those art shows. And I'm like, I'm thinking about it right now. And I'm like, you know, it's, it's kind of tight quarters when you're walking through some of very those. Very tight. You know tight I mean? Very tight. And, and, and then those, also the art walk. I did the art walk last month before everything got locked down. And it was jam packed, you know, jam packed where my, where my gallery was by Las Brisas. Um, but obviously that's not happening now. I just can't imagine that it just, it feels like if it is going to happen, it's going to have like half the attendance, right? Well, that's what I'm thinking. Is it worth it? And then and maybe so they'll like honor the me for next year, right? I mean, have you, have you offered them half the price? No. You know what I would do? I would contact whatever the, whoever the sales rep is or whoever and say, and say, Hey, look, I'm willing to do it. I, I will pay you today, but I'll do it at half the price right. and I'll pay you today. Right now. Do we have a right. deal and see what right. they say? Right. Well, what they did first, I wanted a small booth and then they came back at me and said, only large booths are available. Oh, get this large booths are available. You can use a large booth. You don't have to pay for the large booth, but we're going to put plants on the other side of the booth. So you don't utilize the booth. I mean, that was like bizarre. So I don't know what position they're in today. This was three weeks ago. Um, I mean, there is no way that all these other artists have bought their spots. You know what I mean? I, well, they, they, on Instagram, they're, they're going full steam with artists that are there, right? They're promoting them. Um, and I just, I am them today. I said, is this happening? Is it like, what, what, what happens if it doesn't? Obviously you need to refund money, right? Mm -hmm. And you need to do something. And they're like, well, as far as we know, as of today, it's still running. So I'm just thinking of the close quarters, right? And, and who might, you know, maybe people in California might come, but perhaps all the people that descend in Laguna in the summer may not get on a plane. That's for sure. And how much is it again? So my booth is $13.50. You know, I, at the very least, Joy, if I, was, if I were in your shoes, right, I would... Be I would negotiate them as much as you right, can. Right. Still not like like and just and and just see if you like the deal, right? Like right. like what price do you like the deal? Right. Like think about that in your head, right? Like is it seven fifty? Is it eight hundred? You know? Yeah. And well, then, small booth was eight hundred. Obviously, they're saying that's gone because they want to try to make as much money as they can because they have so many openings. Probably. Yeah. You know, and 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 I'll tell you this too. I mean. This is another like like trade show trick, like in the in the regular world, in the regular mm -hmm. business world. But like trade shows usually never sell out. And if you and if you call the trade show, like the like you contact the sales rep like a month in advance. Right, you get in. There's usually cancellations, and they're trying to fill the booths. You right, know? right. And you can always kind of go in last minute if you mm -hmm. think that there's going to be vacancy because of this situation. But I would, I would, I would negotiate just, you don't even have to say that you'll do it today yet, but just be like, just try to get a better price and see what happens. Right. Yeah. I'll try that. Thank just you. Try And just be like, guys, I mean, and I would talk to them on the phone be like, look, we all know that there's going to be 50 to 75% of the attendance. Like, mm -hmm. come on. Right. It's not regular. So all I'm asking you to do is cut the price by, 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 you know, 30 or 50, you know, 40% or something like that. Right. And I'm sure that they're going to be like, okay, like, you know, I mean, I can't imagine that they're just going to stand firm. Right, right. Yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. This is and exciting. It, I, I love hearing about this. So keep me posted. I will. Thank you. And I, w I will be on the workshop tomorrow. Do I need to sign up or just show up? No, it's the same sure. time, same thing. We'll, we, we'll have the link there. Um, okay. I think it's already posted. Cool. And I want to thank you guys for doing this. And I also have a greeting card line. I have actually over 5,000 greeting cards that are on Instagram sitting there. I do them at shows, but I'm looking for a venue to put them on. So that's awesome for me. Yeah. So you, you actually bet. have physical inventory? I have, um, I do have physical inventory for my shows, but obviously not all 5,000. Maybe I have 500 cards um, and they sell out. They do very well. Um, so, uh, but I'm with Bay. Should I, should I move over to the other vendor? Uh, you don't have to. I mean, it's up to you. Like they're just a little bit behind right now, Bay. Right. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm certainly not like trying to encourage everybody to move over, but um, they're just, I mean, I just have to be truthful to you guys. They're just a little bit behind on the features right. uh, than graphic. And by that, I mean, 
three to six months, right? Um, it's not like, you know, some crazy amount of time, but, but I, I wanna make sure you know that if you have physical inventory, you could set up those items as standard products or some and do of them. do it on my own, right. Yeah, and ship those because the, the, bay, the bay component um, or the greeting cards like with, is, is really gonna benefit you for automated fulfillment. Right, but the thing that I'm doing when I do it in galleries, I'm selling one card at a time. I don't have them boxed. Got it. You know, so I do it like papyrus with the plastic covering and the whole bit. Yes. And I'm not selling it in a box. So for me to go out and start to do that, it's very time consuming. It might not be worth it because they're going True. for $12 a card in the galleries. True. True. But cool. yeah, the greeting Thank cards, you. The greeting cards with automated fulfillment on the site will be a pack of four or five. It'll just be a different product and, it, and it'll be easy for you, right? Okay. Thanks, Joy. We'll see you tomorrow. Um, and I just, I, I want to remain optimistic that we're going to get back on track in California. I, I can't not be, but who knows? Um, okay. Dustin, are you there? Dustin left a Facebook comment and I said, get in the, get in the chat and you made it in. So Dustin, you there? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, we got you. Yep. I'm here. Okay. Lay it on. So basically, um, I do a lot of marketing, a lot of post Facebook posts, Instagram posts, uh, get a lot of great feedback. Um, I'm doing a lot of sales, emails. I'm just, I'm not getting any sales at this point. So I was just wondering if there's any other techniques you guys give me. Like I said, I have a very unique style of photography. It's great white sharks. Not too many people do these kinds of things. Um, I go on a trip every year to Guadalupe Island, get in a cage and dive with great whites for three days. So I wonder if you guys had any other techniques for me or anything else. Have you, have you sold any of it offline um, at all or, is it, or, or just haven't sold any of it, period? I actually sold two this month to people, strangers, which was, which was huge. It was like back to back, but, um, that was pretty much it. Everything else has been friends and like family. Yeah. That's awesome though. God. Yeah, it was great. That's a really good sign. What, um, what's your, what's your website you again, Dustin? Uh, it's, it's D-U-S one zero photos.com. So just 10 photos. So I'm looking at it now. You can, take, you can take the cookies. Wait, sorry, me too. Yeah, you can take the cookies thing off at the bottom, by the way. Okay, cool. cool. I would ditch that billboard for sure. Okay. Uh, the, the big top thing. Pat, your article. What was your article that you sent the other day? I mean, we did a case study on this, Dustin. Um, mm -hmm. like you definitely want it gone. Um, but what was it that you had? It was a... Uh, Just say no to slide chess. Yeah, just say no to slideshows. Like they're terrible for website performance. Gotcha. Yeah, for, con for, yeah, for conversions. Okay, so 7,000 followers on Instagram. That looks good. I think, I mean, my first thought is tomorrow, Dustin, you've got to be here tomorrow for the workshop. Okay. Because we're going over the specific tactic that, um, which is um, uh, uh, contacting like, uh, like big Facebook groups that are around your niche and the same thing for like Instagram, like curator accounts, you know, or influencers. Yeah. And um, particularly in this pandemic, it's like the, it's the, the marketing activity that we've been telling everybody to do. We've been pushing everybody on for the last like month. And I think, and so because it's so important, Pat, Patrick and the team is doing a in-depth workshop on it tomorrow. We have a playbook for it. It's in the show notes. Um, so it's already in written format with some links and things like that. But we're specifically doing this tomorrow um, because we want everybody to get to do it and like get like really detailed help. And so like my first thought in my head is like when I'm looking at your content, I'm like, oh, my goodness, you got to find like the, the, the great white shark, like, you know, um, like enthusiast group, the ones that want to get in the cages and, you know, do all that stuff. Right. And they definitely exist. Yeah, yeah I'm actually in them and um, like I post them regularly and i know someone that runs one of them actually and um he allows me to post my website link in there and sell on there um that's probably where i got those two people from i do also know a few people that run like shark instagrams and they repost my photos all the time so um awesome. I'm, I'm definitely there, there's things working for me just not selling yet and i, I think um i'm just stuck yeah, yeah, I think I'll tomorrow, like, given that you said that, I'm even more like, you need to do this tomorrow, because 
we've got like full tactical on what to do when like okay. like like when you get access to those because it's we want you to run a giveaway and um and like you know and post the giveaway in there um as a means of uh, uh and, and not just like share your work right so there's like right. there's actually ta a tactic that we want you to execute on it and in fact probably you know if you have a good relationship with the group and the group likes it try to do the ones that work try to do them like once a quarter but try yeah. to find more and more and more of them but if you want to come to this thing tomorrow and you want to check out the playbook in advance because we've got like all the language on how to approach the group owner when you don't know them or have a relationship with them mm -hmm. as well as like when they say yeah let's do this like um what you actually want to do together to make something happen and the end result should be getting a lot more leads right like you're going to build your leads on your email list and get some sales and the emails obviously lead to sales as well that's a that's just a huge thing of course um yeah no, what's, your, what's your competition what's your competition like in this are there a bunch of people that are selling great white photos i don't i don't think there is um i know people personally that are and like you know we're good friends and we share tips on how we're selling and, and things like that but um i don't i don't think there's a huge market of people selling it right now i mean yeah. it's i mean it's a very expensive trip and not too many people are gonna go do this trip and um but there's a lot of people love sharks so yeah it, it's sort of it's sort of interesting I, I would sort of need to do some searching great with um shark photos yeah i mean i think it's a, it's a unique niche but it's probably it's probably a, a narrow pool at the end of the day that buy if you if you're already hammering the facebook and you're already ham hammering the instagram pages and you don't feel like that that's turning into a ton of traction. I don't know. I'd, I'd have to marinate on what's the best way to go, to go about it. I mean, well, he might've gotten his only two sales from that. Yeah. I mean, saying, you've, right? got, you've got great white shark photos is a lot of results on Google. So it does seem like there's a lot of people that are interested in this. I just don't know. I, I, I'd have to poke around and do some, do some legwork for you, but I, but I will, I'm actually kind of curious. There has to be, because I mean, think about yeah. all the shows on TV. Right. Like there's constantly right. a great white shark show on. I think it's like 24 seven, you know, exactly. exactly. You know, and you, you know what, Dustin, I'm going to show you this here because this gal, one of the other art storefronts members, I don't think she's on anymore. She might be, if you're on here, Emily, um, Emily Kalina, um, she, look at her work. I, I had her website up and she's a digital artist, right? And she can do commissions. Like she can take like photos and turn them into like really cool looking paintings. Like, look at this right here. Like these are yeah. all from photos, you know, you yeah. may have another angle partnering with like, in addition to what you're already doing, selling the photography, you may mm -hmm. actually have an angle partnering with someone like that and turning like one of your awesome photos that's on your website, like into a painting, like a yeah, digital that, painting. Yeah, it's just another cool way to sell your work, you know? Yeah, definitely. Her I name's do. Emily Kalina, K-A-L-I-N-A. -A. Um, you can contact her through the website. Um, you know, through her website, she's super cool. Um, but yeah, that's, that's like, that's just another, another marketing angle because, you know, I don't know that I would put one of those on my wall. Like I'm kind of into the great white shark thing. Like I watch those shows every once in a while, to be honest with you, they're mm -hmm. pretty entertaining. Um, but turning it into a piece of art, just kind of, um, like, I don't know, it, it kind of like, uh, softens it a little bit, if that's the right word. You know, where it's not as it's not as in your face as like just these raw shots that you guys that I, or that you've taken. Yeah. yeah, it's just it's just you know what it is. It's just another product at the end of the day. But man, they could look really cool. You know. Yeah, I had someone actually um, say, "Hey, it was a print giveaway." He's like, "I'm hanging this in my office at home." He's like, "I'm a sales shark," and I was like, "Well, that's kind of cool that he said that." Um, but like the print giveaway, I get tons of email signs up. So people sign up for like crazy when I'm doing the giveaways. So th there's something there. That's a really good sign. And you probably haven't made it through a Q4 yet, have you? Selling your stuff online uh, a fourth quarter? And nope, I just started in January. Yeah. Oh, you're just getting started then. Yeah, I'm just getting you're, started. You're, you've got the right signs though, Dustin. Like, right. And I it hasn't that. happened yet. This is a long game, you know? And you want to yep. get as, as many emails as possible. That's why... The tactics that we're talking about like you got to build you got to do lead generation like crazy right but um but you're early on and you're seeing the signs that you want to see yeah definitely I feel, I feel it so 
I would take whatever one of these that you love, maybe contact Emily. I mean, she was on here and she's like, she's looking for work right now. She's looking for business. You might be able to get a good deal on one of them and she'll probably let you, uh, maybe she'll let you sell it, you know, to your, to your whole audience, you know, as prints. I don't know that she will, but, but, uh, you know, it could be cool. Yeah. I'll check that out. Cool. And keep Anyways, I think, uh, I think you're on the right track. Just stay engaged with us and, okay. and go to this workshop tomorrow and execute on that stuff. And then I think that that's the next time to check in, right? Is like after you've contacted a bunch of these different things and you've gotten a bunch of them going, where are you at like two months from now, you know? Yeah. Yep. I'm definitely going to look into it tomorrow. I'll be there. Awesome. Okay. And, and the replay is there too, because I know you work nights, but okay. Uh, thanks, awesome. Dustin. It looks like that's it on photos. Nick, uh, you have anything else you want to leave it there? What do you want to do? Leave it there. Okay. Thank you guys. Another good session. Thank you, Pat. Yep. See you guys tomorrow. Thank you, everyone.